everything about driving is expensive here. And it still kind of blows my mind. When I first moved to Australia a few years ago, I found it absolutely crazy how much everything to do with cars costs. Over the past few years, I've kind of gotten to the bottom of why some of these things cost so much, but some of them just make me ask, how did Australia let things get like this? Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm from the US in the Midwest where it actually gets cold. I'll use the C word, cold, and it freezes, there's snow on the ground for months at a time, and the snow comes along with salt, which is essentially worse than driving your car at the beach in the ocean continu like continuously, effectively, which makes the cars rust quickly, and you don't really see cars that are older than 10 years, or at least I didn't, unless the thing was a garage queen, if you're living up north. What does this do to the car prices? Well, the economies of scale with the population in the US, plus the fact everyone has to replace their cars every 10 years, the cars weren't that expensive compared to coming down to Australia where you can see cars on the road that are 40 years old. And cars are very expensive. They don't domestically produce any cars here. And they still have this crazy import tax, which was meant to protect the domestic car market, which is just the first of a long laundry list of things that I'll bring up in this video that I found very foreign and still do. So the thing to protect the domestic car industry, there's only one car manufacturer in Australia and they make a supercar and I think they've made one, maybe two. So the next thing is when it comes to registration. I used to remember whinging about a $110 registration fee every year. That was in US dollars not Australian dollars or dollary dues as I like to call them. So $110. And then my comprehensive auto insurance would be maybe $1,200. Again, US dollars. Come down here, I have a SUV. It's not a crazy SUV, it's not a pickup, it's not a ute. And I'm paying $800 dollary dues per year in registration. Now that fee does actually include compulsory third party insurance which essentially means every driver on the road is covered to some level of insurance. So if you hit someone, you're insured, they're insured, if their car is registered, that sort of makes sense. Now, the part that doesn't make sense is that the comprehensive insurance still costs $1,200. So in my brain, and I'm not an actuary, so maybe an actuary can drop a comment below and explain this to me, but I really don't understand how the insurance still costs just as much if the compulsory aspect of it is not there. Now you won't find a Jiffy Lube in Australia. This is something, again, that really startled me when I first got here. So probably the largest thing that startled me is I had a Subaru WRX when I first moved here. The same exact one, the same exact model year. So I had a, obviously a left-hand drive one in the US, a right-hand drive one here. And I used to, again, complain about $150 oil changes in the US, but that was replacing it with literal race car oil. Like, <laughs> race car oil, it was good. <laughs> I come down here and it cost me $350 to get the oil changed. And they wanna do a test drive, they wanna do all this extra stuff. The labor rates for really everything here, but especially for cars, labor, parts and labor, crazy expensive, insanely expensive. And I think it's because they pay people more here the sun tax for everything is, is there. It's in everything. So you take that, so you got your insurance costs a lot, the purchase costs a lot, the service costs a lot. What's the last thing? Your driver's license costs a lot. And me coming down here from the US, it literally was just a money grab where they just want money, they want money every year. Obviously the rate goes down the more years you buy it. They didn't take my US license, they just wanted money and then gave me an Aussie one. And again, that fee is, you know, five times more than I was used to paying. So it's, uh, the, everything about driving is expensive here. And it still kind of blows my mind. The final thing is the fuel prices. So the fuel prices have just been much higher. There's no domestic oil production here that I'm aware of and fuel prices have been at least five US dollars per gallon, 
for ages. Now, I will say that Australia does it in Australian dollars per liter, so there's a couple things that my brain has to do when I'm trying to compare fuel prices here. But the fuel prices have been consistently higher, and I expect them to be consistently higher. You add on the exchange rate being not great for Australia, and it's a recipe for things that just cost a lot. How did things in Australia, when it comes to cars, get like this? Well, I think it's probably transitioned over a series of years, probably decades, but I still just don't understand why it's gotten like this. Do you know why? Drop a comment down below, lend me some insight, help me banish my ignorance, because I still find all this so foreign, and I will see you at the next one.